Good day everyone and today we are going to cover pop-ups in Divi and discuss how to make them look really great and how easy it is to set them up. You can see an end result here. It is very easy to configure this. You can close it with either this X or in the gray space there. And it does scale quite nicely onto tablets and phones. It's very plug and play and uh, we're going to jump right into how to do it. So what we've done is in the plugins of this site, you can see that we have installed pop-ups for Divi by DiviMode.com. Shout out to them. Thank you for the awesome plugin. And what it does is it adds an extra toggle to sections so you can turn a section into what will become the content of a pop-up and link to it. Sounds pretty complex. It's not really. I will enable the visual builder and we will show just how that all connects together. We scroll down, we'll see how we made this one here. So in the section immediately below, you can see it's kind of got this different style to it. It's got this uh, lined background, this little drop shadow, and it looks uh, it shows us the ID. That's because when we created this section, it was just a standard section, but then in this pop-up tab that um, the plugin adds, you go to general and check this is a pop-up. And then you give it a separate pop-up ID, and this is the ID used when you are linking up the button. And so I'm going to copy that and uh, you can change some behavior here on things that close and if there's a close button or not and whatever. And then you can make, you know, if you want to make the border uh, of the pop of itself rounded, you can do that here just like you would a section. Uh, but regardless, the main functionality is that this section is now the pop up. And then this row and text module I added here is just the content of the actual pop up. So it's pretty easy to edit as you can see. And then this button here, all we did to link it up is go to link. And we go hashtag organization get started, which is the ID that we gave it, as we can see right here. And that it basically does it all for us. That's how we uh, linked to that pop up there. And so if we wanted to tweak that with uh, a different pop up, we could just as easily go down here, go to new section, regular section, single row. insert, actually I won't insert a text module, I want to keep all of the nice styling that we might have over here, so I'm just going to duplicate from this guy, move it down here into that pop-up, and then just going to hit the settings here. Now right now, see it's a regular section, until we go to general and say yes, this is a pop-up, and we're going to call it pop-up 2, you can see it changes the style there, copy this ID, hit check, and then in the button here, we can just link it to, instead of hashtag organization get started, we would link it to hashtag popup2, and that would change it. We could also, you know, if we didn't want to use either popup, we could delete those sections and then just link it to hpsgoogle.com, to link it into a new window, as long as I type .com correctly. We could open it in a new window, we could link it to somewhere else on the page, but that's a bit beside the point. We do want to link it to our new pop-up, and actually I want to keep it as it was when I originally started this edit, so I'm just gonna not edit that. But that's how you would change it to the new pop-up. And then if we want to get really fancy with this pop-up, um, we can do some things I mentioned earlier, like going to the border, Maybe say 20 pixels rounded. Uh, it looks really nice. And then uh, we could do anything we really wanted. We could, um, inside the text module, switch to visual. Don't know why visual is not working for me. Might be a bug in Divi in its current version. Um, so in this case, I will just exit out of that. And instead, I will add a blurb module. And I'm going to set it so that the image is on the left and that the image is an icon. The blurb module is very versatile. Not suitable for all cases, but it can also be quite handy. You can link it to a um, the entire module or just the title. You can link it to somewhere on the page. If we were to say link it to, um, on this page, I think there's a section called hashtag partner with a church 
something similar to that. That's how we link it to somewhere on the page. We could link it to, and that would be on the same window. We could link it to HTTPS google.ca. And in that case, we'd want to put it in a new tab since that's taking someone off of our site. Or we can link it to somewhere else on the website itself. So if we wanted to go to slash locations, which is a page on this site, we would open that in the same window and that would take someone to another place on our page. Uh, anyhow, I think I'll just leave that as is and I will change the color of the icon to red because why not? And how's that looking? That's cool. Uh, I don't really want all this text here, so I'm just going to delete it. And I'm just going to say, click here for locations. Click here. There we go. Click that. And now that entire thing is a link because we linked the title right there to locations. And there's a lot of settings in Divi as you can see, but the nice thing is it really does kind of guide you. So you can hit the question mark anytime and it gives a very, you know, readable English description of what each setting does. If you're looking for something really specific, there's even a search function up here where you can search for, uh, let's say I wanted to change the um, color of text. You do have to spell it if you're um, not in uh, the states, make sure you spell it with American spelling. But now you can see all the different color, so you can change the background color, icon color, text color, body text color. It just shows you all the different color options in this one view. And you can even filter it further if you feel so inclined. And I will exit out of that. That is a solid overview of pop-ups as well as linking to items, um, changing button links, and uh, making pop-ups activate. Uh, remember when all you're done with your changes, make sure to hit save there, and then you can right click and open in a new tab to view the live page. That's all for today. I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.